Good morning, everyone. I literally just woke up because I got a notification that my iPhone is ready to be picked up. So I'm about to go pick that up. I'm super excited. I'm just wearing this Gymshark crop and the Stacks, the Midnight, sorry, the 90s collection um, bike pants, which are super comfy. I am going to go do that um, booty bear class today. I think it's at 11 o'clock at Good Life. Um, I also weigh myself and I literally am in the exact same way as last week. I feel like I have been eating in a deficit though. Like I've been tracking most of my meals, but there has been like the odd meal or two. I guess I did go to like Karma Pod and I didn't really track that day. Um, so yeah, that's probably why it hasn't moved. But I just want to lose another two kilos of fat. Like, and I'll be happy. And then I'll just focus on maintaining that and... Um, toning up so I just need to be more conscious of what I'm eating and stop with the snacks honestly it's just it's so hard when it's like just there in your fridge or in your pantry and you just anyways um yeah so that's my plan for this week I want to see like next Monday when I step on the scales I want to see something lower than what I am because I'm just over it <laughs> I'm not over it. I'm literally being so dramatic. I I did say I'm in no rush, but I would like to be back to 64 kilos before I go back to Perth because who bloody knows what I'm going to do when I'm moving all my stuff into my house. I probably won't be as conscious of my macros then because I won't have a fridge straight away. So we'll probably be eating out for the first few days. But um, yeah, that's just my goal before the 15th of November. Two kilos. Surely I can do it. What's the date today? 21st of October. Yeah, that's so doable. Keep me accountable. Well, I'm pretty much making this to keep me accountable. And if I don't lose two kilos by 15th of November, something's gone wrong. <laughs> it should be achievable. Um, I don't like to set unrealistic goals. Like I would never be like, no, nah, I need to lose 10 kilos by the 15th of, of, of November. Like, two kilos over like what, three weeks? I feel like that is quite achievable. If I said like five or six, then that's a bit pushing it. Um, and I feel like it's not very achievable. Um, so I'll show you guys this top. I was gonna recreate something like this um, with stacks. Like, I just really liked it, but it just didn't really look nice because that was when I liked the leopard print. Um, but, yeah, I really like this design top. And then these are the bike pants. I'm in a size small for these. And my code's Jazz10. I'm going to go pick up my phone now and probably spend the rest of the morning having to set it up. Um, so I'll show you guys. Okay, so this is what I got from my PO box this morning. I've already unboxed it. So I got some new Maybelline lip products. Why is the light glaring? Superstay Matte Ink. I think it's in a collaboration with her, but they're really cool. Look at the design. Then I got some stuff from Stone Age Health, which is a website that stocks um, Perfect Keto products. It's like an Australian retailer. They've sent me some of their new cereal and some Stocker Bars Choc Chip Almond 3 Grams Net Carbs. Yum. These look so good. Oh my god. I'm going to unbox this properly, but I got the new iPhone. So excited. Um, and then Beauty Works sent me one of their curling irons. This is what I would use when I curl my hair. Like something round and like a bit thicker. I don't like the thin ones because then they create ringlets. But I was due for an upgrade because my one, like the wire is starting to like hang out of its case, which is pretty dangerous. They've sent me a brush, which is super cute. And then some heat protectant spray. This lighting is horrendous. Sorry, guys. But yeah, I'm super excited to try that. So thank you so much, Beauty Works. I'm going to go set up and unbox this baby. I'm so excited. I got the iPhone Pro X Max. The biggest one, 520 gigs or something like that. So I will not be running out of any space anytime soon. I got the silver one, but it looks white to me. <laughs> also, today is a great day because I got a call from Nissan and they said, my car is ready to be picked up and guess how much I have to pay? 
zero fucking dollars because one, they've had my car for a week and a half and they said they only need it for like three days. Two, apparently I'm a loyal customer because they get my car service there. So I did actually call me on Thursday and they were like, look, like your car's like officially out of warranty, like technically. So um, usually like, you know, you'd have to pay like the excess or whatever or however much the part would cost and he was like you'd probably be paying over like a thousand dollars that's without labor that's just for the part and i was like oh shit and then um he goes because you're a loyal customer and you've been having to wait so long like we'll just waive that and i was like oh <laughs> never mind about me ranting i was like oh thanks that's really nice so yeah I don't have to pay a cent, which is cute. Oh my God, whoa, it's like matte. Wait, no. <laughs> There's a freaking case on it, am I dumb? Okay, wait, I don't have a freaking iPhone case. Do I? Yeah, I really don't want to use it until I get a case. It's like the exact same size as mine, pretty much. Oh my God, it's so nice. It is actually a matte finish back. Like, it's really nice. It's not, like, glassy. Okay, let me plug it in to a PowerPoint. You obviously get a um, some AirPods. Actually, no, you don't get AirPods. I would have thought that this phone, especially because of the price, would have come with just, like, AirPods, you know, the things. But, no, these are just normal ones. But I'll probably just put these in... Um, when I sell my phone. Yeah, that's the same. Is that the same thing? Like, can I put this in? I might have to check that before I sell it to someone. Check if it actually fits in. Yeah, fits in every phone. Yeah, I might, when I sell my work phone, I will put these brand new ones in because I don't need them. Um, okay. Keep that aside. Little manual. The one thing that's shit about the new phone is it has a new um, charging thing. Actually, no, don't worry. It doesn't. So, comes with a new little charger. It's a bit bigger than the other one. It's quite big. Um, there. And then I'll plug it in. Might go into, like, Kmart or something and get a cheap um, case just for when until mine arrives because I ordered my case design with Caseify. I ordered it um, for the obviously my new iPhone. Yeah look at the difference in like the adapter things like why is it so massive and like because they've changed this plug like I can't use this which is annoying. Um, I tried also to um, set up my iCloud, but like I tried to like back up this phone and set it up as iCloud, but like it just didn't work. So I'm not sure if I have to like buy iCloud storage or what, but I've never had to do that before. Why is it so pretty? Like what? Okay. English. It's so thin without a case. Like I'm going to have to be so careful about scratching the camera. Um, okay, let's go Australia. Okay, I'm just going to go set my iPhone up, but I will keep you guys updated on the camera when I play around with it. I think I won't actually use it until I get a case because knowing me, I'll just scratch the fuck out of this. Like, just put it in my bag. I'll definitely need a case to protect the camera. But, um, yeah. That's what I'm doing. Then I'm going to go pick up my car and then go to that booty class at Good Life. And yeah, and then I'm going to start doing my clothes. So that's going to be fun. Guess what? I got my car back. I went and picked it up before booty bear class. Um, but guess what happened during the freaking class? How's the timing of me getting a new phone? Because look what happened. I don't even... I can't even remember it happening, but hold on. Not sure if you can see it. I must have dropped a dumbbell right here because it's just shattered the front camera. And then like just the screens just cracked from the top. 
and I obviously, well, I obviously need this because this is going to be my work phone now, and then I'm going to sell my current work phone. So I'm going to go into Apple and see if they can do anything right now. Oh, just how annoying. So freaking annoyed right now, but oh well. The fact that I just didn't even like remember it happening is the most annoying part. Like I don't even remember dropping the weight on the phone. Unless it was due to something else, but I honestly have no idea. Anyways, I'm going to go to Apple, see if they can do anything. I also just want to get a really cheap iPhone 11 case um, while I'm waiting for my case to find ones to come. Um, and then I need to get, well, another screen protector for this phone. So, yeah, let's hope they can fix it today. If not, I'm just going to have to take it another time. Okay, so update on the phone sitch. It was going to cost $480 to fix, and I just thought, like, it's gonna become my work phone. I probably won't use the selfie camera, like this side of it. See how it's all like cracked? So I was like, when I come to sell it, if I do wanna sell it, I'll go get it fixed. What the hell? That was recording the whole time to Siri. I need to turn that shit off. Um, so yeah, I just decided to scratch that. I'll figure it out if I do end up wanting to sell it, but it's just going to be my work phone anyways. But look how pretty it is. And also how good is the timing? I just got my order from Casetify. So I got the new iridescent impact case for my iPhone 11. How freaking gorgeous is it? Like I just can't. This is new. One of their new designs. Um, with my design so they only just recently brought this out in the impact case and they have also come out with a ultra impact case which apparently is like shock proof so I could like drop it from all the way up into the ceiling I've actually seen some drop tests and they've been like 10 feet or something crazy I personally am not gonna try it but I'll let you know if I end up dropping it and it doesn't crack so they have come out with the ultra um, impact case so it's really similar to the impact case i'll show you guys side by side but this one just has extra bumpers on the um like on the sides it's just a little bit thicker and more bulkier but obviously if it's going to protect your phone like i don't really care so yeah that's another cute little um design and it's got the pink bumpers once again you can customize the bumpers even if you don't want the ultra impact cases if you just want the normal impact without the bumpers like on the side you can customize this this one's white on the sides you can make it black or pink or white whereas this one on the side is pink so that's what that would look like on that case i'll show you guys what both of the cases look like um side by side so this is what both of the cases look like i might put my flash on as you can see it does have like bumpers on the um, bottom whereas this one doesn't so this one's the normal impact case and this one's in the iridescent design which I'm freaking in love with um, but yeah this one is the ultra see how they've got like extra little bumpers at the top and then if I turn it around even like on the inside there's like extra padding whereas this one's more flat to the phone like that Want to show you guys some new designs i'm obsessed with this iridescent one um once again i will leave my discount code and all the links where you can get my caseify collection in the description box down below i also this is like so hard to do also i do have my watch band which is still available i uh, this one's so old i've literally had it on for like eight months um, so yeah, you can also purchase these from Caseify. It has my little um, jazz logo on the end. And yeah, super cute. It's only for Apple only. I have gotten a few messages asking if it's available for Fitbit, but unfortunately not. It's just for Apple. Sorry. I um, mean, I have the Apple Series 4, so whatever the latest one is. Um, so yeah, I just thought I would show you guys how cute and they match my nails. Look, how cute is that? Good morning everyone, it's the next day now. I just finished PT with Mia and oh my God, it was so hard. I'll have that workout on my Instagram, but I'm just having a post-workout protein shake, just using the norm, no way protein powder, 
some Perfect Keto MCT and a bit of glutamine, um, of course, from Elite Sups and Perfect Keto. But I always leave um, my discount codes down below. I always get asked, but they're always in the description box of all my videos. I also picked up some PR. So I got some of the new Marc Jacobs eyeliners. They're like the glitter liners. So I might open one and show you guys. And I got the new Hideaway scent. Has anyone else like was obsessed with pink sugar? You can get it from like Chemist. It's so, so nice. So I got all of their new range in pink sugar, but I'll show you guys that a bit later. I'll probably do like a little story haul like I usually do. But yeah, pink sugar is my jam. Let's open one of these and have a look. Whoa, I just opened the gold one. How nice would this be as a glitter liner or even like to define a cut crease? So I got all the shades. Oh my God, they're like metallic. How pretty is that? I'll definitely have to do a video with it very soon. So I've just laid out all the Marc Jacobs liners. Whoa, how nice are the colors? I'm just gonna take a cute little story. Can't wait to try. <sighs> okay, I'm ready to tackle this room. This is high enough. What I'm gonna do is firstly put aside clothes I don't want, slash I'm gonna either sell, give away to the Salvation Army, give to friends and family. I'd obviously rather do that first than sell. But all of my like, I don't know if I'll sell my pricey things. Like I was thinking about selling my Camilla dress because it doesn't fit me anymore it is a size small but they are it's just very i was just a little bit bigger when i first bought it so i'm not sure about that but i'll post all of the stuff i end up deciding to sell um on my instagram jazz hand clothes if you want to go check that out um i haven't posted on there in a while but um yeah i'm just gonna go i've got heaps of boxes from riley's sister because she works in glasses so i'm just gonna put together some and I might just use one of them for all of the clothes that I don't want. So, let's get started. knows how long this has been here for. Let's go through it. Actually, just cleared majority of my wardrobe. Let's put all these over here. That was so satisfying. Like what? drawers like I mean I bought these from right away size small and they're so tight like I thought they'd be actually no they're a size medium so I thought they'd be like a cute relaxed fit and they're like skin tight but I still want to keep them um they could be my gold pants don't need them mom can have them even these like these are from um right away and they just they're so small 
keep it anyways because it's a cute colour. Might give them to mum. I haven't even worn these. Do I want them? No. It's toned. No. no. Gymshark. Oh, this is a cute top. Surely. was a mish and a half but i'm so glad oh fuck there's another one. Oh. <laughs> there's another one fucking hell okay maybe i can no 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 surely just fuck all this off that's all the shit i'm culling and this is all the shit that I'm keeping. I'm pretty proud. I think I'm going to do a second, like, thorough look, probably, closer to the date, just because I even think that's still too much. Like, I just, I don't know. All right. I'm going to tackle the makeup down there another day. I've got to sort out these clothes. This is stuff that I want, stuff that I'm giving to mum. She loves shorts. These are all my sports bras that I wear all the time, so that'll go in my other room. Okay, let's go. Okay, so you know all the clothes that I don't want? I've got a mini pile. I've hired freaking <laughs> Riley sister Maddie to put these on my um, clothing page because I honestly don't have time and it's gonna, that would probably take just for that, maybe three hours to try everything on, put them up on the Instagram and put a description and everything. So she's going to help me and do that. I've got like four or five of these that I'll give her, but I'll just do them um, gradually. So I won't upload them all at once. So maybe like 20 or 30 things at once. And then that'll keep me busy because i got to post them. So yeah, that is what's happening. I have also started decluttering my room. I know I don't even look at it but all of this used to be up there i've decluttered this to all the jeans that i want i probably need to do another cull because <laughs> i hate letting go of jeans in there as well um up there i kind of sorted out i need to sort out that down there um i also sorted out even though you can't even really see like this top section, like I actually couldn't even see the top of this bench. So I sorted out like my jewelry that I want to take, what I don't want. Next I'll do glasses and stuff like that. Um, actually I might give them to Maddie too, some glasses that I don't want. So yeah, got phone cases that I don't want. Just so much shit. By the way, my bed's from Harpy Norman. I always get asked when I vlog in my room. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly finish off that and then head to Riley's and then I'm gonna, we're gonna go do a class at Good Life. Also shit that I don't want, but I just said to Maddie, you can keep whatever. If you like anything you see, just keep it. Honestly, I'm not even fussed to sell it, but um, yeah, I'm only selling the stuff that are worth selling and have tags on them pretty much. Good morning again. Sorry I didn't vlog much yesterday, but I just literally just spent the whole entire day after I rearranged this room, which I did actually end up moving all the stuff to the back, which made it a bit easier. Got a bit more room there. I'm just in the process of sorting out my makeup down there. Um, yeah, it's still a big mess, but look what I just received. Oh my God. I've never actually owned Nike Airs before, but these are hand, like, hand painted. I'll leave the um, company in the description box, but I think it's like drip something. But how cute are they? 
I got it a seven and a half. I probably could have gotten away with a seven, but they still fit comfortably. But wait, there's more. <clears throat> they also sent me, fucking lucky as, I, nah, I just can't, the Powerpuff Girls. Anyone else obsessed with them when they were a kid? Because I definitely was. Peter thinks I'm 12 for getting it, but like, I just can't deal. Wow. And I also got some new Amen, and I'm actually obsessed with this color, so I'll try it on and show you guys after I have a shower. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> I literally just dropped my phone from here and it landed straight on. <sighs> oh my God. Literally landed like this on the floor. That's how clumsy I am. I'm not even using that new ultra impact case. This is just the other impact case. Thank fuck for that case to fire because honestly, if that cracked, I would have blamed you. Why is that flashing? That's so weird. Oh, maybe because it was trying to recognize my face. <sighs> New phone, I've already fucking dropped it. Anyway, <laughs> just trust me to do that. I'm so clumsy. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the new Amen. I actually love their new um, ribbed crops. I actually wear them to bed as well. Sometimes they're super comfy and supportive. I probably wouldn't wear something like this to F45, but it's just more for comfort purposes. Like I wear it under, like I'm always wearing a crop. Like I never wear bras anymore. So if I wear like a t-shirt, I'll always wear like a gym crop underneath it. Um, but these um, are from Stax. I think they're the old color, but freaking love great angle i also got their um long sleeve crop in the same color which is a bit cute <sighs> by the way i get a size small so i probably could get away with a medium in these tops because they are quite tight to get on but then once they're on they're good all right show you so this is what their um long sleeve ribbed crops look like super super supportive comfortable tight around the waist um i probably would be able to wear a medium as well it is ultra like it's tighter i would say fitting wise than the bra it's a bit more relaxed so if you're like a similar size to me and you don't like ultra tight um tops like this i would recommend going a size up but i personally don't mind the small um, but yeah, I just love this color at the moment. It's super pretty. And the one thing I love about the, these tops is I wear the black on out all the time just as a normal top. But yeah, freaking love this color. I'll leave all my codes down below. Hey guys, sorry I haven't been, um, updating you guys throughout the day. All I've done pretty much is just sort out my makeup and it was kind of boring for me to film. I was just going through everything and um, putting some aside for giveaways and for like my kit and all of that. So yeah, it, was, it wasn't it was anything to like vlog, but pretty much all I've had today is a protein shake after the gym. I went to Body Balance with Riley today at, at Good Life. I was so uncoordinated. I can't do yoga, Pilates, and we did like, it was like a combination of Tai Chi. It was just so hard. So probs won't do that class again. Like it was nice to stretch for like a change instead of like sweating the whole time. But um, yeah, it was really nice to like stretch actually. Like I did enjoy it, but I just, I was not good at it. It was so funny. Um, I'm actually on my way to Milky Lane and Surface. It's just that really cool burger place. Um, it's Vita's birthday. So yeah, I thought I'd get him some keto goodies. So I just got him some caramel nut chew. I got him some of the Extend BCAAs, Vitoex chocolate. I got him some Lust bars, Smart Protein bars a um mct coffee and i got him another keto 
what's it called? It's like this keto bar that I got the other day. So hopefully, oh, and this um, Kets, um, I think it's just a ketone powder thing. Um, but yeah, hopefully he enjoys that. I know, I know he's obsessed with Atkins, so I'm sure he'll love it. Um, anything else to update you on? Not really. I need to go though. Um, I am off now, so I will obviously vlog when I get there. Oh my god. Good morning, guys. I'm all nice and glam. I don't even know why. I just felt like it. Um, I'm off to go get my hair done at the hairdressers. I need my regrowth done so bad, so I'll be there most of the day. I need to send off the clothes that I sold. Probably going to bring my Before You Speak coffee and creamer with me so I can have it there. Um, but other than that, don't really have that much to update you on. I'm bringing this for my hairdresser. Her salon is like... Um, like her walls are dotted so I was like this is perfect for you and then just those um, Anastasia bags that I got that her kids can have and I have these like Colourpop bags from ages ago that her kids can also have and then just some like skincare and all of that jazz so I need to quickly go to the post office and get some parcel what are they called packages so I can post all the clothes I think while I'm at the hairdressers I'm just going to spend time and um write down everything i still need to like figure out this honestly like what's going on so i might do that tomorrow because i don't have work so yeah i'm gonna go do that and i'll bring you guys along with me it looks so much more pink with this yeah. on this camera it, like, vibe, it's like breaks up the vibe right yeah yeah Oh, she? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks amazing. It is different on a camera. I've been literally the busiest I've ever been in my whole entire life. I've just been sorting out my makeup mainly, and I'm like putting it in little piles for giveaways i got a pimple here last night it's probably from milky lane let's be real right there and right there just as i said on my stories can't remember the last time i had a pimple today's the day i got my hair done yesterday so it's all nice and fresh i'm wearing my jh crop and my sasky leggings i'm just about to go do body pump at good life and then i've got some things to do at rabina um, after that so yeah that's all I have to really update you on I've just been so busy and like I was I was gonna vlog yesterday like me doing all that but it just seemed so boring to me so yeah that is what's up this weekend I'm not working again just so I can pack my stuff the following weekend though is when it gets crazy with school formals um, I've got Starting from next Saturday, I've got them every day that week. Um, so that should be fun. I'll definitely film some so I can make some client salon vlogs. I, I am uploading the one from a couple weekends ago as well very soon. So that'll be up soon. Um, yeah, I got to go because I'll be late. I'm just having some Oxy Shred. This is the non-stim one. Um, I don't know if I like it or not. It's very sweet. I probably would like it more if it wasn't as sweet. But I just didn't really feel like having a coffee. So that's going to be my pre-workout. So I just got my low-carb Emporium order. I just made myself a Before You Speak coffee. Thought I'd show you guys what I picked up. I pretty much just got the usual. My coconut chips. This is the best biltong or air-dried steak ever. Um, I love these, but a lot of you guys actually don't like them, but I like them. So I decided to try the good fat aioli. I've tried the mayo and it's nice. I got some more of my favorite electrolyte flavor and then my favorite um, twins pantry pesto almonds. I haven't tried these essentially low carb chocolate chips. 
before, so I'm keen to try them. These are so freaking good. Like crushed on ice cream, just buy. So yum. My favorite tomato sauce and coconut oil for making some treats. So that's all I got this time around. I have a code, I think it's just Jazz 5%, but I'll leave the links down below. I also got a bunch of stuff from Princess Polly, which I'm gonna do a try on haul as always. But first I need to do my makeup and then I have to go to the shops with mum to do a few things. And my goal for today is to organize this section completely. So declutter everything, even my own personal collection, clean everything up, scrub the table, scrub the mirror, um, put aside any other storage that I don't want or I'm not going to take. Put that aside, put it in a bag if I want to give it away or whatever. But I just want this done today. So, fingers crossed. That was rude. My camera just randomly stopped because my memory card was full. Anyways, I need to go post some of my clothes. I've been selling them like absolute crazy on my other Instagram. Um, so I need to post a couple of them and then, yeah, we're going to go to the gym. I'm definitely, because I'm not doing anything else today, I'm going to fucking tackle that. And if I don't, I need help because I literally have nothing else to do today. So if I don't do that, something's wrong. <laughs> I'm going to do it. Okay. All right. I got to go. I'll speak to you guys later. Here we go. Here we go, boys. This is really hard, this class. Is it? Yeah. What kind of stuff is it? It's you sparks, you'll that. see. What, is it jumping? Nope. Okay. <laughs> did last week was different and that was so much and harder. And they like six years old like kind of looking at us like oh nice no track. Yeah. Like, why don't you just come do it? <laughs> no I mean you're the dumbbells. I definitely want to do that once a week. Oh. You know? We're not going to be able to walk tomorrow. I know. We're going to cryo now so I'll speak to you guys there. Guess who's back, back, Hi. back again. Okay, so I didn't show you guys what it looked like without anything on it, but I literally took everything off. I took this, um, the mirror bit out and scrubbed it. And there's like hardly any makeup in it. So now I'm just packing all the makeup that I want to take. I'm just going to use this. But I've already got a couple boxes in here full. Oh, shit. So that's my makeup so far. I'm pretty proud of myself. I've got one, two, three, four boxes, and then I've got these two. I'm still trying to decide how I'm gonna pack it in there, but I wanna try and only take like one box and then that, and then my kit. Like I don't wanna bring too much because I just know like I'll be getting more makeup probably in the future, so it'll just all bunch up. Um, I just need to sort out those drawers. I just kept them in case I want to pack anything fragile. 
but all of those I'm taking that that stuff is all for giveaways just stuff that I've never used um, and then I've just kept boxes from PR and stuff in case I need them but it's all coming together oh, I'm like sweating <laughs> but yeah I'll keep you guys updated when I finish some more Good morning guys. So this morning me and Riley went to a body pump class and I'm going to Burley Pavilion with mom and her boyfriend and my brother today. I'm wearing this top from Princess Polly. Actually my whole outfit's Princess Polly. <laughs> a little belt, these shorts, this top is so nice. I freaking love it. So yeah, I probably won't take my vlog camera just because it was so busy last time. But I'll show you guys my makeup. Here's my makeup. I did it on Instagram stories. Basic little glam. Um, so yeah, I don't really have anything else to update you guys on. I don't know if I'm going to have lunch there or just have a wine or something. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, I'll chat to you guys later. Good morning, everyone. I just woke up. I'm going to go try the new Brit class today. It is Monday. That means I did weigh in and I lost 500 grams this week. Woo! It's amazing what, like, snacking can do to your overall weight, honestly. Like, last week, sorry, the week before, yeah, I was just like, obviously overeating because I or I wasn't you know conscious of my calories but yeah I was still tracking but I was just very loosely tracking whereas last week I tracked absolutely everything that was that I put in my mouth pretty much so yeah I lost 500 grams which is cool I'm wearing this set from Stax it's from their Lux line so I don't know if it's available anymore but the material on Stax tights are next level. You need to try it. So freaking comfy. Yeah, I'm going to go try grit today, which I'm kind of nervous about because it looks hard. Um, and today I'm just going to be sorting out all of this stuff. I can't believe that's almost done. I'm so happy. I'm just making a piccolo coffee. I need to send these to Peter because he requested me get some from low carb and then send it to him. I've got to send him a few more things as well. So yeah, got some new clothes going up today. Oh, it looks like a mess again. Probably because I did my makeup there yesterday. All right, I need to go and have this coffee for pre-workout. Then I'll let you guys know how the grit class went. Oh my God, so scared. So guys, I just got back from doing grit at Good Life and oh my fucking God. That went really quick, but it was so hard. I burnt like almost 500 calories. I think it was like 460 something in 30 minutes. So my heart rate was like 180, 190, like the whole entire time pretty much. I hated it, but then I loved it. Like I would obviously do it again, but it was just so tough. Um, and I didn't lift like the lightest. I just put on two five kilo plates on each side, which is like, it's not heavy, but like for something like that, I probably should have got a bit lighter for my first class. But yeah, it was super tough. Um, I just went and picked up some PO Box mail, which I'll show you guys. So Gymshark has just released some new swimwear, which is super cute. I have a feeling that the medium might be a bit big. Like it's quite, like for a medium, that's quite big. Like that looks like a large to me, but I'll try it on and see how it goes. I love the tops though. They're so nice and I love the colors. And they've teamed up with all these amazing brands for like a summer ready box, Knack, Bondi Sands, Mecca, Lano Lips, Key. Love these glasses. They're so nice. Um, what else? Yeah. Super. Oh, and Frank Body. Oh, my God. I literally have had the busiest freaking day ever. It's now 8.30 p.m. Oh, I haven't even, like, I cooked, like, HelloFresh because I don't even think I've mentioned HelloFresh on my vlog. That's how busy it is. I cooked my HelloFresh and ate it just then and it was really really nice but I think I'll my in my next box of HelloFresh I'll um, cook with you guys and remember to vlog 
Um, I'm just, I've just been going through my phone, um, pretty much selling my clothes on my Instagram and it's taking me hours. I'm so thankful that Maddie, Riley's sister, is helping me out. She's taking all the photos and the clothes for me and then posting them, which is just honestly so good because I actually decluttered a lot more of my makeup today. I put some more aside that I'm going to give away. I just have so much. Like I thought I was almost done. And I literally just walked into my makeup room, like my spare room before where all my makeup is. And it doesn't even look like I touched it when I did. So, yeah. Oh, well. Slow and steady. I also... Um... Got a cool opportunity to go to LA next week, but I just can't because I've got school formals, which is a bit of a bummer because it would have been a pretty cool event to go to, but that's all right. There's always next time. I think Riley's going though, so I'm super jealous. I tried so hard to shuffle around my plans and try and arrive like the day before my clients, but there was just no way because the event was on that day that I needed to be here, which sucked, but that's all good. I'm just sitting down to edit my Princess Polly haul, which I'll have up before you see this video. Um, and I'll also have my client salon vlog up next week. So if you're watching this, it'll be this week. Yeah, next week I'll definitely have it up. Sorry for the delay. I just have so many other videos to upload and I'd rather like upload my vlogs as quick as I can. Um, but yeah, that'll be up very soon. Tomorrow I'm gonna go do body combat with Riley. And then we're going to go to cryo and then I'm going to continue to um, do my house. Um, I'm just going to show you guys when I'm done because it just looks like a bomb right now. I've just left shit everywhere and it's giving me anxiety. I just hate living in a mess. Like I hate it. I don't have OCD, but I don't like when shit's everywhere. Like for example, like I just don't even want to look over there. Okay, I'm going to end this vlog here before it gets too long. I will chat to you guys next weekly vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You a fool's girl. Oh my God. Yes, I did.